I'm Luke Resnick. I'm a junior at O.J. Roberts High School. I graduate in 2017, and last year I wrestled 106. It was definitely the first year I've had to lose weight. Uh, freshman year and sophomore year, I was always underweight. Freshman year, I weighed like 90 pounds. This year, the off season, I got a lot stronger, and definitely a huge difference. I had a lot better year this year, not giving up 10 pounds to tough kids. The difference in strength from Luke from his freshman year to this year, it's, it's unbelievable. And, and it's not, it wasn't for a lack of effort. He does it the right way, he looks hard. Um, but once, once his body made those changes, I think, the strength's unbelievable. The difference it's made on his wrestling. And when it comes to work ethic, Luke is, he's our, we, he's, he's our team grinder. And I mean, his, his head's down. Um, when practice starts, he's our worker. And uh, when we, this next little piece is huge for me. If we're running drills or anything we're doing, Luke is the first one going. So when I blow the whistle, he's in motion. And when I go to stop it, he's still going. And, and that's huge, and it doesn't seem like a big deal when you're going a 30 second go or a one minute go, but Luke, he gets those 10 seconds back. You know, he earns those 10 seconds, that five at the beginning, the five at the end. 10 seconds, 20 hits in a practice, five practices a week, it adds up. We, we kind of laugh because it doesn't matter where we put him on the mat, he'll be off the mat at some point because he never stops. I have high goals for myself, so I know that if I ever want to achieve them, I need to be working the hardest and I need to get the extra reps in. My confidence comes from my strong practice habits. When I step out on the mat mentally, I know that I'm more prepared than my opponent. I think I have a positive attitude um, during the whole entire wrestling season, even when I'm losing weight or even after a tough match. I think I always have a positive attitude because my preparation and my preparation allows me to have the confidence and the ability to go out and wrestle against anybody. So I have a twin brother, Ryan. Um, we've always been close and we've gotten closer since high school started. Um, we always find ways to push each other and challenge each other. He pushes me um, athletically and I try to push him academically. Uh, we're a really good fit and we're really close friends. Something interesting um, in their relationship as twins is that um, I think sometimes that Luke finds himself in, in Ryan's shadow, and I think that drives him. And I see him pushing Ryan sometimes, and I see him um, kind of getting little digs in at Ryan, like, hey, you know, he's not really pushing it today, or he's dogging it a little bit today, you know, or he could work a little harder, you know, he could study a little more. And I think sometimes that helps those two, you know, they, they have that, they want to kind of outdo each other. Having uh, my twin brother Ryan as a built-in practice partner was really beneficial to us. We had a mat in the basement and we would go down there and practice during the season and as we were kids and that's what I think helped push us to become better than our opponents. I think I'm able to pick up the little things that maybe the coaches wouldn't notice because we've been practicing with each other for so long. It's kind of just like an extra coach because we, like, we know each other better than anyone else does. Well, I'm sitting in the barn right now. It's a wrestling room that was created by a family friend of ours. It's right near our house um, and we go here all the time. We go here during the season when there's not team practices and we try to get everybody from the team to come here and work out and get an extra practice in. We come here a lot during the off season. It's, it's really convenient and it's just the perfect wrestling room. I would say the biggest plus to the, having the barn is the convenience. It's so close and a lot of times when you go to practice rooms, they'll be like 45 minutes away and if it's, if it's during the school year, um, you have homework and other stuff to do, but here you could go get a practice in and then be home because it's so close. A couple years ago, I went to the J-Rob camp with my brother. It's an intensive camp and it's two weeks long and it's probably one of the hardest camps in the country. After going through the camp, it teaches you it's more of a change of your mindset. You now can wake up early in the morning, get a workout in, and you're used to that, and you can go through the tough practices and the tough workouts because you've done it before. The finishing part of j Rap camp was a 12-mile run. Um, it was worked out to be like the hardest thing, but I always knew I'd be able to do it because um, I'm competitive and I knew I wouldn't 
I wouldn't let myself not finish. What I really learned from the camp was discipline and how important preparation is. And everybody wants to win, but it, not, not everybody wants to prepare to win. Luke was just named to the Pennsylvania Wrestling Coaches Association All-State Academic Team. You know, you have to be an excellent student, and then you have to get it done on the mat. So I think that just speaks to the fact that the work ethic that allows him to be successful on the mat, he's able to bring into the classroom. Every year before the wrestling season starts, I write down my goals on a piece of paper, and that's really what motivates me when I step out on the mat. I want my work to not go unnoticed. I want to achieve my goals. Where I see a number of athletes fail in college is they don't have the habits, the time management skills, um, the ability to put distractions aside, to put in the kind of work to be successful. And, you know, Luke has really mastered that skill. He, he understands what's important, what can I do now that will help me be successful tomorrow. And, and that's a skill set that a lot of us develop later in life. Luke already has it, and, and that's going to allow him to be successful in college. His work ethic in the room, that's going to allow him to be successful on the rest of that. Luke's mental approach to things, he's always focusing on like that very that moment. Like, work as hard as he can at this practice. Do as hard as he can in this drill. And, and I think he won't make it bigger than it is. Some kids get intimidated or they make too much out of wrestling in college, where, where I don't see that being an issue with Luke. I think my best years as a wrestler are ahead of me in college. Um, I have a lot of potential to be a great college wrestler. I've, I've always been technically sound, but um, recently I've been lifting and getting bigger and becoming a more powerful and explosive wrestler. One of my favorite quotes is from Dale Carnegie. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy.